All right, I can't find the card I was looking for. I know I have it. It's just not here. I like all the kids' decks that are here, and my deck, and my girl's deck, and I can't find it. And the extra cards I brought with me is not in it. So it has to be in my apartment, and yeah, she's my girl, but uh, I still got my own apartment. So most of my cards are over there, and I can't really travel much, so. But this is my 2020 Rare Hunter Exodia deck. Banned. And it's a Rare Hunter Exodia deck, so. It's like just thinking, with all the cards at your disposal in your mind, what deck can you make to make, make it optimum of anything you want? With new cards, old cards, and everything. So I was like, hmm, I thought about, I love Exodia. I mean, that's probably why you're here. Because you love Exodia too. How can we take the real hunter that played Exodia and make his deck with his rules, you know, which is no rules, <laughs> broken? So we made the deck and we've been playing it in... Um, Link Evolution, just a farm for money. And I was bored out of my freaking mind. So I made... I copied the deck in real life. Minus a lava chain I can't find nowhere. So... Do the extra deck first. You got the one... This card is not bad at all. As you saw at the, vid, the gameplay. Um, I can't find the lava chain, but... Uh, substituting the Vessel Emerald and also trying it out in my main deck. So, in my main deck, I'm trying this combo out and I can easily bring out. And then, if I have enough monsters in the grave, you know, small amount, just three, I can recycle and bring back and then do other things because, yeah. Um, one Celine. I'm gonna just put them down here because of the. I have the light on, so Celine. One Star Usia. Decoder. Clock Undertaker. Like, you're gonna see some video plays where I use. You need him to have. You just need a monster on board to have way less light points to go and draw fate. And then two Wee Witcher Princess. And one Phoenix. But it can be any really link monsters you want. And you can make Star Usual real easy with Soul Charge. Like the whole deck is banned cards. Well, not all banned cards, but out of the majority. And I guess I'll, I'll do a test hand. And then just for super shits and giggles and also could play it too. And just the Seal of Ari Conkles. So for the monster lineup, of course, you need all five pieces of Exodia. Um, three Witch of the Black Forest. Two Sanguinings. Three Emissaries of the Afterlife. Two um, Blue Dragon Summoner. And for recycling, if you got one of your pieces in the graveyard or anything, Legion, you can get a piece back from the graveyard or your deck. So that's basically it for the monster lineup. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 monsters. And the big purpose of the deck is you want to draw and dump them in the graveyard to bring them back with Soul Charge and link them off. And then for the spells, I want to get them secret rare. But three pot of greeds. Uh, it's a plus one guarantee no matter what for free. Turn one card into two. Three grateful chariots. Draw three, um, discard two, and you want to dump the monster so you can bring them back again with soul charge. Three ops are to guaranteed 
you're playing with a 37 card deck, then with Pot of Greed, you're really playing with like a 30 card deck or less with these two. And then you're just dumping and drawing, so. Oh, wait, even less. You're playing a less deck. Three one day apiece. I wish they would bring this back to three. I guess out of boredom and stuff, I'll just bling out this deck when I can. I like secret rares above anything else. But anything above common, I would gladly take. Uh, three hand destructs. Dump two monsters and draw two. And then the key cards. Like you can do the draw fate. I love this freaking card no matter what. And three soul charge. And that's basically a 440 card deck. And you can just do whatever shenanigans. And I play it in Duel Links. And I have friends that want to play it to see if they could beat it. So it's, it's funny. They always say, hey, make a Zodiac deck that's broken. That's banned, whatever the case is. And we want to see if we could beat you fast enough. I'm like, alright. Bet. And this is what I came up with. So yeah, that is our deck profile. I guess I'll do one test time to show you. Let's see what we draw. Hmm, broken. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so we got the key spell we got. Want to bring shit back. And pluses all around. I will play a pot of greed. Draw two. Another pot. Draw two. Take another pot. Draw two. Yeah. I will take graceful now that we have monsters to get rid of. So one, two, three. We'll drop these two. We can, um, they're not hard once per turn, so. Let's get for life. Draw a card. Let's get the hand struck. Let's get rid of these two. Draw two. Um, let's check grave. Yeah, guaranteed we have game. So, we don't need all the other extra draw power. We can summon Legion. Just play Soul Charge. We already have one piece on hand. We'll summon Legion, play Soul Charge. Let's bring 
green, green, green. We take 4,000 damage because of soul charge, 1,000 per monster. Then basically, you can just synchro for the. I'm link some for if you want. You got Star Usia right here. That's one, two, three, four monsters with different effects. So we'll just go Star Usia. And now, you'll get all four effects to search and then to draw, but. Let's just forget about the drawing and we'll go into the searching. All right, with Sangang, we'll do last. The other ones, we'll search out the limbs. And then Sangang with the head. So, game over. Exodia Literary. That's it. You still there? Enjoy. Have a good day.